The male personality type Sigma male has been trending a lot lately, and as a result, there's unsurprisingly been a lot of men popping up suddenly claiming to be a Sigma male themselves. But a Sigma male is defined by certainly personality traits that one can't just adopt at the drop of a hat. Do you claim to be a Sigma male yourself? To clear up any confusion, in this piece, we're going to give you nine signs to know if you're not actually a Sigma male. Number one, you always try to impress people. Trying too hard to impress others is a surefire hint you might not be the self-assured Sigma. You imagine Sigma males don't waste energy on flashy displays just to draw attention or approval. They don't need to prove themselves to anyone. This doesn't mean they don't strive for excellence or push themselves to achieve their goals. But it's, it's not for the sake of impressing others. They do things because they want to not. Because someone else might be watching if you're always on a mission to impress everyone you meet. You might just be missing the point, think about it. Why try to impress if you are already comfortable with who you are? Real strength comes from being at ease with yourself, even if no one else claps for you. Even if you do get recognition, it's just an added bonus. Not the main goal being AS means being your own hero, not chasing after others' admiration or approval. Number two, you constantly compare yourself to others. Always looking at what others have and how you stack up against them is not how the Sigma archetype operates. These individuals don't care about what others are doing because they are too busy chasing their own dreams and goals. Everyone has different paths and comparing your first step to someone else's 10th is pointless. This only leads to dissatisfaction and distraction. Instead of focusing on the competition, the Sigma male values his own progress and achievements. If your eyes are always on someone else's prize, you might be missing out on developing your true self. The goal is to become the best version of you, not a second-rate version of someone else. So if you're caught in a comparison trap or always feel like you're falling behind, you're actually just hindering your own potential. A true Sigma is too busy creating his path to bother with comparing himself to others. He knows his worth and doesn't need to measure it against others. Number three, you use your Sigma label as an excuse for not having friends. Claiming you're a Sigma to cover up the fact that you don't have friends isn't really what the Sigma life is about. Of course, Sigma males enjoy their alone time and don't need to be surrounded by people 24-7. However, this doesn't mean they're solo because they have no choice. Choosing to be alone is different from being alone because you can't connect with others when someone hides behind the idea of being a Sigma to justify a lack of friendships or social skills. They might be missing the point being able to form meaningful connections. Even if it's just with a few close friends is important. It's okay to be picky about who you spend your time with, but it's not okay to use a personality tie as a crutch a genuine Sigma forms bonds on his terms, and because he wants to not, because society says he should, he knows the value of true friendship and won't settle for surface-level relationships. If your excuse for not having friends is that you're a Sigma, maybe it's time to take a deeper look at why you're really choosing to be alone. Real Sigma males can have friends, and they just choose them wisely. They cherish quality over quantity and make connections that matter. Number four, if you're always trying to show off your intelligence or knowledge. While Sigma males are often highly intelligent, they don't feel the need to constantly prove it. They know their worth and don't seek validation from others. If you're always trying to show off your intelligence or knowledge, you might be compensating for something else. A true Sigma is secure in his intelligence and doesn't need to flaunt it for recognition or approval. He doesn't engage in intellectual battles or try to one-up others. He simply uses his intelligence when needed without feeling the need to constantly demonstrate true intelligence is not about showing off or being superior, but using it in a humble and meaningful way, while an alpha male might feel the need to dominate intellectually. The Sigma male doesn't care about being seen as the smartest in the room. He just watches, observes, and learns without the need to prove anything. This quiet confidence and humility are what make a Sigma truly intelligent. Number five, you expect praise for everything you do. If you're looking for a path on the back every time you do something, then you're definitely not a Sigma. 
Sigma men don't need validation or recognition from others to feel good about themselves. They are self-sufficient and their sense of worth comes from within. Not from external sources, being a Sigma means being confident in your abilities and decisions without needing constant reassurance from others. In fact, Sigma males often prefer to stay under the radar and avoid the spotlight they don't seek praise or crave attention because they are okay with who they are and what they do. They are not in it for applause or constant approval. They do things because they believe in them, not for recognition. Whether it's a small act of kindness or a big accomplishment, they don't need to be praised. This doesn't mean they don't appreciate a compliment or positive feedback, but it's not what drives them their true self-worth is built on their own standards and values. Not the opinions of others always seeking praise can also indicate a lack of confidence, something that Sigma males don't struggle with. They are secure in who they are and what they do without requiring someone else to confirm their success. If your motivation decreases without others' compliments, it may be time to reevaluate your Sigma status. Number six, you are unable to lead quietly. Leading isn't always about being the loudest voice in the room or the one giving orders a silent leader can guide others without a lot of noise. Sigma males are natural leaders, but they do so quietly and confidently. They don't need to shout or force others to follow them because their actions speak louder than words. Their independence and ability to make decisions without seeking validation from others make them respected leaders in their own right if you're always trying to prove you're the boss or need to control every situation loudly. Then you might be an alpha rather than a sigma. Alpha males are often dominant and assertive, while sigma males are more subtle and independent in their leadership style they lead by example and don't need to be the center of attention to make an impact they prefer to operate behind the scenes where they can make things happen without needing recognition or praise. This quiet confidence is something you can't fake especially for a long period. So if you feel like everyone needs to know you're in charge, you are not the Sigma male you thought you were. Number seven, you are overly critical of others. Judging everyone around you harshly can be a sign that you're not being true to the Sigma archetype. Sigma males are not concerned with what others do or think they have their own standards and don't feel the need to impose them on others. Being overly critical of those around you can actually be a reflection of your own insecurities and doubts. A Sigma man is confident in who he is and doesn't feel the need to tear others down to boost his own self-image. He respects and treats others as equals without needing to constantly judge or criticize them. If you're always criticizing and unable to see the good in people, it might mean you're using criticism to feel better about yourself, while being a Sigma means holding yourself to high standards. It also means accepting others as they are and not expecting them to meet your ideals. Being overly critical of others only leads to negative energy and can hinder your own personal growth. Number eight, you feel uncomfortable with being alone. Feeling uneasy with your own company can be a telling sign that you might not quite fit in into the image of a Sigma male. These men are like lone wolves, comfortable in solitude and often thriving in it. They see alum time as an opportunity to reflect, grow, and pursue personal interests. If solitude feels more like a burden than a blessing to you, then you might not be cut out to be a Sigma. Everyone is different. and There's nothing wrong with enjoying the company of others. But for Sigma, being the lone is not a punishment or a sour SCE of discomfort. He is comfortable in his own thoughts and doesn't need constant external stimulation to feel fulfilled. This ability to be self-sufficient and comfortable with solitude is what sets the Sigma male apart from others. Number nine, you always blame others for your problems. If you find yourself always pointing fingers at others when things go wrong, you might not be a real Sigma, a true Sigma stands. Tall owns up to his mistakes and sees them as chances to grow, but if someone's always at fault and it's never you, that's a sure hint you're not living by the Sigma way. Taking responsibility is what sets a real Sigma apart. He solves his problems instead of just complaining about them and making excuses, he learns and becomes better. Instead of just blaming other people to be a Sigma, you must be brave enough to say, I messed up and then make it right. Blaming others for your problems is one of the easiest things to do. 
It's also one of the most common excuses made by people who refuse to take responsibility for their actions, whether it's at work in relationships or just life in general. Sigma males don't play the victim card, they take charge of their own destiny, and don't let external factors dictate their actions. I hope you liked the video, please subscribe the channel and like the video to support us.